Hi everyone, I'm back with part two of Rocio's birthday gifts. Um, like I mentioned earlier before in my first part, I did this little wooden unfinished crate uh, box for her. You must check out for, uh, the first part so you can see how I did that. And then, of course, I talked about the card and the letter R that I altered for her as well. Now I'm going to get to the second part because I don't want to drag this video too, too long. So I'm going to put these to the side. And like I said, guys, if y'all have any questions on any of the products that I used or want any links to any place that I purchased this stuff at, just please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to share that with you. And just so you know, I went ahead and used this. Um, you can use any brand, but this is the one that I had on hand. The gesso to alter. When I altered the projects, I used this as the base. And then, of course, I used the vintage white over that. And then um, I used this uh, Martha Stewart uh, paint as well. It's, it's called Piglet, but they don't sell it anymore unless they don't in my, you know, local Michaels. So uh, you might want to check it out. Maybe yours does still carry it. So that's what I used. And then I used um, these Stardust stickles to add a bunch of sparkly glitter to my flowers and, and throughout my project. So... Okay, I'm going to get down to the next and last project. So, here goes. Okay, there it goes. Okay, guys, this is the last project I made for Rocio. I had such a good time, and it was so much fun creating this for her. Um, I really, really, really hope you enjoy it, Rocio. I made it with lots of love and care just for you, my friend. And I'm wishing you a very, very happy birthday. I hope you enjoy these gifts as much as I enjoyed making them for you. So I'm going to get down to it and show you uh, a little bit more of the angles and stuff of all the little goodness that I added to this project. Now, before I do that, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys, I got inspired to doing this box, this jewelry box by Martika Gonzalez. Um, she is an amazing, amazing artist. She did, she does such great, great projects. I'm, I was just so inspired by her. And Martika, if you ever see this video, thank you so much for the inspiration. Um, I just saw your project and I knew I had to pretty much do one almost the same as yours because I love it. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And, um, I first saw her pictures of it on Pinterest then I decided a week after I started the, the project, I was thinking, you know, going to YouTube and searching for her name and actually looking through her videos to see if she even had this on there. And lo and behold, she did. She, I found it. And I was so, so happy to have seen her video now and, and a closer, you know, look at it. It was just awesome. Amazing. Just beautiful. But the funny thing is that she did this for a friend of hers, which is Miss Garden Grove One, um, which is, that's her name on YouTube. That's Annie. And um, she did this for her friend Annie as a birthday gift, I believe. And I'm now doing this one. I decided to do this for my friend's birthday, which is so weird, you know, because it just dawned on me to do something like this pretty for her. And anyway, besides that, I believe Martika uploaded her video for this exact project on YouTube a year ago on my birthday. So that was in October. So that was so weird because when I saw that, I was like, what a coincidence. You know, we both do it for a friend for their birthday. And then she uploaded it on my birthday a year ago. It was so cool. I love it. Thanks, Martika, again for the inspiration. Okay, guys, enough rambling. Let me get into the project. Um, of course, I did not do it exactly like Martika. I did tweak mine. I didn't want it exactly, exactly like hers, but it's pretty much close to it. So um, I used this um, pearl lace trim or pearl chiffon. It's chiffon pearl uh, trim that I purchased from One Little Dreamer on Zibit. If you have any questions on any of the products, please leave me a comment and I'll leave links below and stuff so you can go in there and check it out. She has a ton of beautiful trims there as well. Um, then I got this um, trim at Hobby Lobby, which was so, so pretty. I had to use it. Uh, Flatback Pearls. I got this Tim Holtz drawer pull. It came with a little wooden, very, very small little drawer pull. So I told my husband to pull it out, and I was able to incorporate this, which was great. And then this here is from um, Spare Parts from Hobby Lobby that I wanted to switch out because the one it came with was a gold very simple one and I did not want that color on here because I just it was not gonna be uh, the one that I wanted incorporated in this exact project 
Um, so anyway, I, you know, got the little feet from Hobby Lobby as whether well. they were unfinished wood and I painted everything. I did the same technique here, um, the gesso, and then I did the, um, acrylic paint, uh, with the vintage white. And then I did the pink brush strokes with the piglet color. Now they could turn out pretty nice. And then, um, I used this fine. I got a whole loads of it about three years ago from a local scrapbook store that was closing. And I'm down to probably my last two yards of it. And I just need to get my hands on some more really soon. And then, um, I have a bunch of Prima flowers incorporated into this box. And I have a bunch of wild orchid craft flowers as well. And then I added some of these little uh, marbles that make it look kind of like water drops. So that's that was the effect I was trying to get. And then these uh, little long kind of bobbles that I had in my stash as well. Those are so pretty. And then, um, let me turn it around. I really did cluster these these uh, corners with a bunch of flowers in every little space that I would see it was that was open. I wanted to add a little flower so it wouldn't be kind of you know open there in the little areas around there and then I did some use some prima leaves as well and here's some more of the flowers I'm sorry if I'm shaking it too much this box is pretty heavy and my hands getting tired sorry guys and then here's some more and these are the Tim Holt hinges um, I went ahead and wanted to use my own that I had in my stash because the ones it came with again were matching to the gold one the gold little latch that it came with and I didn't want the gold on here and then here's some little sweetheart uh, cherry blossoms that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts as well uh, some little tool sprays that I got at Hobby Lobby and uh, here's a cluster of Prima flowers which are gorgeous and then um, I just added more I stuffed every little space I could with with some of those marbles and some more of the flowers and and stuff and I thought it came out really 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 pretty so I really enjoy it I'm still thinking if um, uh, I um, want to give it to her <laughs> no I'm just kidding this is just a really hard to part with but I really, really like it, and I know she's going to love it. I had so much fun, like I said, Rocio, making this for you, girl. Um, goes to show how much I care for you, and I think you deserve every little bit of, of yumminess that I added on here. And then, um, let me see here. I'm going to open the drawer. want to make sure this is focused. There it goes. Let me move this a little bit back. Her. Okay. And um, I went ahead and just added a little bit of uh, some lace in here that she can use for her projects. Now this was gorgeous lace. So um, these are so, so pretty. And then I just covered the bottom of the drawer with some of the Prima Delight paper. Gosh, watch it be fairy rhymes. And I'm over here saying it's delight. It's either one, ladies, because I have both pat paper pads out. And I was working till like, I don't know, super duper late last night. And uh, every night, actually. So I'm not really sure which pad I pulled it off from. But either the fairy rhymes or the delight, um, I love both. I couldn't decide. That's why I have both pads out. But... Uh, you must know, I guess if you look through your own stash and you have these paper pads, you'll know which one it's coming from. And then I added some stickles to the, to the lady's petticoat there. So I thought that looked really, really pretty. And then I added some pearl trim all the way around. That was really pretty. And I'm going to show you the inside really quick. Just some goodies that I added in there for her that I know she'll love. Try to pick this up. And then I covered the bottom of this, uh, all the little squares with some of the same paper. So let me pick this up so you can see there's some there. So it can look so shabby, so pretty and dainty and girly and classy at the same time. And then here's some more. So you, you can see as I did that to every little square. It was, it was awesome. I love it. I got to do one for my daughter and I got to do another one for me. And I'm sure I'll make another one for some more birthday gifts and maybe a Christmas gift for my goddaughter as well. So, um, there you are, ladies. I hope you enjoy it. I'm already at 10 minutes, and I was supposedly going to cut it shorter. Jeez, I swear I tell you. But anyway, it was just awesome making 
this for y'all for her I'm sorry and showing this to y'all I was so anxious to get this done and, and put it up on my YouTube videos so y'all can check it out and see it and and tell me what y'all think please leave a comment below uh, all kind of criticism is welcome good or bad um, I'm down for constructive criticism which is always helpful as well so um, please leave a comment I hope you enjoyed watching thanks again and stay tuned for more of my videos Bye, ladies. Bye, Rocio. Have a happy, happy birthday, girl. I send you a big hug. I can't wait till I give you this. I'm going to pack it up really, really nice and give it to you. Uh, by the way, her birthday is uh, the day after Thanksgiving, so I'll be seeing her in the next couple of days. And I cannot wait till she uploads her video once she shows this as well. So thanks again, guys. I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.